Hi, I'm Greg Wren, photographer out of Boston. We're here in Arizona, western Arizona, almost in New Mexico, on the high plains shooting at a uh, solar power field. This is the largest one in the United States. We shot a portrait early this morning, but now we have a bunch of time to kill. One of the things that we have to shoot here are solar panels, and it snowed last night. We got in about midnight, and it was snowing. So I'm going to use this time to just uh, talk quickly about what we did this morning and, and how we shot it. When we shoot environmental um, photographs, we, we tend to travel pretty light, okay? Especially when we're traveling on the airplanes, we really can't bring a lot of stuff. But the point is you don't need a lot of stuff to shoot uh, a good photograph. On this trip, we're out for four days, and um, basically we try to minimize what we bring. So as far as gear, I got my camera case. Okay, you can check out a video we shot on that, explaining what's inside. I got a strobe case, and I got a stand bag. The stand bag, we bring a really big bag, and we brought on this trip only one stand. We, we really don't need a lot more than one stand. We're not doing real dynamic uh, portraits with lots of different lights. We're shooting one light, one uh, lighting implement, and one stand. But we brought the big body bag, and, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, we have the video tripod and the still tripod, but also it gives us a lot of extra space where we can stuff our clothes. So we don't bring a personal bag for luggage. We, we tend to just try to pack really light, a couple of pair of underwear, a couple of pair of socks and t-shirts, wear the pants that we have on for a couple of days, and put those clothes and jackets in that body bag. Camera case, body bag, and then a strobe case. And this is uh, a Pelican 1620 case that we really love. We love all the Pelican stuff, but this 1620 is perfect for the pro photo gear that we carry. Um, just gonna quickly talk about it. Um, first, we get, uh, if we're doing ambient light, we have some bounces and some silks in there. Um, and then we like to use these Profoto. I used to use the Profoto 7B, but when Profoto came out with their Acute B, this is the 600R, I switched to this because it's a lot lighter and um, we don't, like I say, do a lot of real dynamic lighting stuff. And this is perfect. So this comes with one battery. You can use one light on it, okay? It's got a radio remote in there, so that works with the, um, the pocket wizards on, on the cameras. And, um, and we bring a couple extra batteries. So in this case, there's one Profoto 600R. Um, there's another one. And then we carry a spare battery. And then in here, we have two lights, okay? So if we needed to do a, a more of a dynamic picture with two lights, we could do that. The strap is kind of handy because the assistant can wear it around his shoulder, <clears throat> pick up the, the stand and move, or when we travel, well, when we're in the studio or back home, we can bring lots of sandbags, but on the road, it's stupid to bring sand or weight on the airplane because they just charge you. So this strap, we just hang it onto the um, stand and it acts like a weight, okay? Um, and then the last thing that we have is a, one of my favorite lights to shoot. It's made by Profoto. It's their three-foot Octa. It's not an Octa bank from Ellen Chrome, but they're, they call it the Octa. So it's an octagonal softbox from Profoto. And this is a really gorgeous light. And then you'll need a speed ring, okay, which is how you connect the softbox to the light. An extra pro, uh, extra pocket wizard, okay. So we keep one of these in the strobe case, um, and then we keep two inside the camera case. And then there's some various cables and so on and so forth that we need to shoot the photograph. So this morning, we shot the picture of an engineer. First thing, when the sun was coming up, so we were backlighting him with the sun, and then we were winking in the strobe, uh, sort of low power, medium power, and just to light his face. And um, that's it. So it's pretty easy to travel on the road and shoot. We travel light, don't have to, uh, not a lot of hassle going through airports for a lot of stuff. Um, minimize the personal gear that we bring, pack everything pretty smart and, and work smart, and uh, there you have it, uh, a nice environmental portrait. So thanks for watching.